Okay everybody, so welcome back to another episode. In this one we are looking at BFT stock or soon to be pay safe stock and of course this stock has been doing quite decently over the past five days but in this video we are giving an end of month price target looking at where I believe it could potentially be sat at um, you know by the end of the month and all that kind of good stuff but obviously that is not all we are doing. We are still giving the same update and analysis which we always do based on what we have seen mainly over the past month because we are starting to see a bit of interest in action when it comes to stock right now. So yeah, in this one i'm giving my personal opinions based on what we are seeing so if it does sound like a good plan for an episode please do leave a like and subscribe we are honestly flying up the subscribers it is amazing to see so thank you guys so much for all the support it really does mean absolutely everything to me and of course on top of that if you do want to come talk to us on discord you can link to our discord is down in that description box but with all that being said we're going to jump straight in guys yeah just looking at our screens right now um before we do go to that you know all important price target by the end of the month look at the past month we can see we have been doing decently obviously the merger is coming closer and closer as the day does go on um but right now we are basically starting to see it pick up a little bit from those previous highs which we saw at $16.30 so yeah we saw that high point of the month at $16.30 um ever since then unfortunately we did sell off down to the 6th of January and that was really the turning point in my opinion where we started to see this one go back up on the 7th and 8th and 9th and of course past the 11th we actually did see a bit of negativity on the 12th and then we saw another positive date on the 13th 14th however was a bit of a bad day now personally i don't think that's too bad of a thing in my personal opinion and the reason for that is because you know um, when we do zoom out to so one month we can actually see how big the increase on the 12th was so of course from the 12th to the 13th we were up 7.36 percent it's a very large percentage indeed and it just kind of makes sense you know that the stock was going to sell off a little bit after seeing such a big gain so honestly not too big of a problem in my opinion i don't think it's too bad i think it's still putting us in a good standing for you know tomorrow and especially the rest of next week so yeah guys today is officially the 14th i do believe of january that is the case so we do have a long time until the end of the month but it does look like the pattern is starting to build a bit of traction back upwards so realistically i think we could be seeing this one go to new highs technically very soon i think we are looking at a potential $18 price point by the end of the month. I know that sounds a little bit high to some people, a little bit low to other people, but let me give you my personal reasoning for this. So my pattern which I believe to happen in the next few days is I do believe that this one's going to kind of maybe sell off for another day or so and then after then we'll see a few days of pretty flat behaviour and you know after that we'll hopefully start to see it go back up. Now I'm not seeing too big gains for this one, I know that $18 is a decent uh, increase and I am not a financial advisor, this is all just my opinion but you know if we do make it up to $18 it's not too far away realistically from you know what we could be aspiring to and on top of that the move does look like it is kind of picking up track action so yeah obviously over the past five days we are starting to see bigger increases in the shares price and it does make sense because of course closer to the merger we are going to be seeing that a lot more people really are starting to become aware of this stock i think it really is going to force the price up in future weeks but overall guys for the long term and i know i've just given my short term um, perspective i'm um, just to you know consolidate i would say a reasonable estimate for the next month or at least into the 30th of january is to see this one touch 18 dollars at a medium point maybe a low of about 16 or 15 but i definitely think we are going to get above 16 to be honest because look at it now we're at 15 84 so you know 18 is really not too far and i would say an absolute high in my personal opinion of maybe about 21 dollars but of course a lot of things can change but yeah guys looking out to the long term honestly i do like paysafe as a company i think it's a really cool company i think a lot more people will be using paysafe's wallets and whatnot in the future so once a merger does go through i can see a lot of success coming for this stock and even leading up until the merger I can see a lot more success um, coming for this stock, you know, as this date does become closer and closer. So overall, pay safe in my opinion, or BFT, not too bad of a buy, but I am not a financial advisor, and I would definitely consider adding it to my to my portfolio. So I hope you enjoyed the quick update video, guys. If you did, please do leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye until that episode. See you all then.